Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Fallen here for Spending Entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look at another website that allows you to make some passive income, some secondary sources of income from some camera gear you have laying around. Now we have taken a look at it before at ShareGrid and KidSplit before which are a marketplace for you to be matched with potential renters. Well, Parachute kind of does all the heavy lifting for you. Now, they've been around for quite some time. I've been following the company. They're still in a little bit of a beta. They're trying out a lot of services. So how it works is that if an individual is interested in becoming a member and renting out gear, they have memberships starting from $250 a month and moving on. Um, $3.99 and $4.99 as well and what allows them to do is rent up to three pieces of gear with the basic membership they keep it and it's kind of like a reoccurring membership fee but of course that is how it works from a consumer perspective now let's take a look on how you can make money and this is what we have this section for share gear earn money don't let your gear gather dust and I talked to you guys before how you have might have some photography gear that you have been sitting around collecting dust, literally what they say, and it could potentially make you some money. So what you do is you sign up for their website, uh, parachute.co, um, P-A-R-A-C-H-U-T dot C-O, or you can go to parachute.co slash earn to read it by yourself. Tell us what you have. Earn money through Parachute is easy. Fill out a form. Provide a little more details about your gear. Confirm your details. We provide you a ship kit. You pack with ease. Seriously, we provide everything you need to fill and safely ship your gear with expenses covered. As soon as the gear leaves your hands, your items are covered by us 100%. We pick it up for you. Don't want to leave the house. We got you covered. We can easily schedule our carrier to pick it up easy. And especially with everything going on in the world, that is a nice service. Delivered, inspected, and carefully stored. Once the gear arrives, our team immediately inspects, professionally cleans, ensures, tunes up, protects the gear with dust uh, con contaminated free packaging, and of course, you'll be updated all the way. Subscribers access your gear, you get paid. Parachute subscribers access your gear, we take care of everything while you track all the activity, daily earnings, requests, payout through your personalized earner dashboard. And they have a little calculator, which is really nice, that you can estimate how much is your gear actually worth. Because a lot of people might say, hey, I have so-and-so camera, I have so-and-so light, I have so-and-so flash. I don't think it's going to worth be worth a lot of money to rent but this allows you to do so. So let's take a random camera like a uh, Canon T7i. It's a basic kit camera to some extent. Let's see if it pops up. Uh, Canon ES T7i and it's going to populate. So you have a picture of it. Your item is worth around $699. Estimated return $294 a year or $24.50 a month. And you can also see how uh, you can do a couple check marks. How old is the item? A uh, few months, one to three years, four years. What condition? Uh, good, fair, or like new? Let's say if it's fair, it's not going to change it that much, but by a few dollars. But think about it. That camera is worth about $700, and you're going to be making about 50% of it in one year. So think about how much money you can actually bring in. Of course, $24.50 a month is not a lot, but let's just say you have some more nicer gear. Let's take a look at a Sony camera. Um, let's uh, Sony Alpha 9. That is worth about $1,400. I mean, I'm sorry, that camera is worth about $3,500, which will earn you... 1464 a year once again about close to 50 percent of its ad items worth or 122 dollars a month so think about what can additional 122 dollars for you do for you could it cover your electric could it cover your internet maybe your car rental or your car uh, mortgage or lease you have for it maybe your insurance maybe allows you to buy groceries for a week or two depending how you spend your money and think about it, all the gear you might have. And you can literally put in anything into it. So let's say GoPro, let's put in the new one, Hero 8. 
I don't think they support they have it updated to Hero. Do they have Hero 7 supported? Okay, let's go Hero 6. So it's worth $399, $168 a year, $14 a month. So that could cover your Netflix, uh, any other subscription services you might have. It might cover your uh, a few trips around the town if you use um, different methods. It can just maybe buy you a nice lunch for free, pretty much. So And it gives you a little bit FAQ section. I can make more money by renting my camera gear via peer-to-peer -peer websites, Craigslist, or online. Why would I send it to Parachute? So they're very self-aware. Remember the last time that the Redbox DVD won't work because it was scratched up? It's a rental. And they have a little statement about it. You guys can read through it. So they are aware that there is a lot of competition out there. I'm not sure why they're adding Craigslist. I would never rent out my camera gear on Craigslist because... That reputation, that site has already a sketchy enough reputation, and especially for renting gear, there is no background checks, there's not a lot of factors associated with it. What if no one requests my gear? Uh, in your parachute user agreement, you recommend we should plan on having our gear out for six months. Um, what if I want my gear back but it's in circulation? Uh, what gear is stolen, damaged, or gear is my gear insured? What is the difference between access and rental? How is my gear received? How will you take care of my gear? So a lot of FAQs. So what you would do is you would fill out a form and then you would sign up for an account and send them, which is really cool. They also have a text number. I've never seen uh, companies like Kidsplit and ShareGrid have text support, but you can text them. You can also shoot them an email, support at parachute.co, and they're available nine to five Mountain Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So, sadly, not available on the weekends. And as you can see, there's a lot of different gear out. So, it gives you an idea. Let's take a look at it. Of the gear that's already available on their website. They also have an affiliate partnership. If you are some sort of an influence influencer or you have an online presence, you can also make some money that way. And we're going to take a look at all the gear that's out right now to give you guys an idea of you have some of that gear or you might not uh, they have some pictures so they have ideas there's of course a few cameras sony alpha a7 mark ii they have a fuji film camera they have some la uh, lenses they have a glide cam stabilizer some canon and all sorts of equipment we have we see sony we see nikon uh we have we see some zeiss um and there's even drones available. So all sorts of equipment. You can, uh, can scroll through another drone. We see some flashes. We see some old school film camera, Hasselblad, which is very nice. Uh, Fuji films. But you guys can take a look at it yourselves. All the available gear, of course, it fluctuates depending on the rentals. Of course, some of it is out. If you see it being notify me, um, that is out right now so someone is currently renting it uh, they have a micon waterproof underwater camera all sorts of equipment i mean there's oh even a blue snowball ice condenser microphone that microphone is worth about a hundred dollars but they're hoping to maybe recoup the cost of it and we slowly got to the bottom of the page so of course this website is not going to have the amount of gear that KidSplit and ShareGrid might have because it's very peer-to-peer -peer driven. And like I said, they're very self-aware of that. And they're kind of trying to compete with them in a different spectrum by doing a lot of the heavy lifting for you because they have the staff. They'll inspect your gear. They'll store your gear. You don't have to actually go out and meet people and give them the gear. They take care of everything for you. So they deliver the gear to the customers in two uh, business days. That's what they're claiming, at least on their website. And this seems like a very cool concept. I mean, uh, the more sites you're on, the bigger chances of your gear being rented out. Of course, with something like this, you're already sending your gear to the company um, versus kids playing and share grid. You keep it in your house, your office, your, your studio, your whatever until it actually gets rented. 
So that's the only kind of bad side of it that you're already locking out your gear and you have to deal with kind of sending it out, receiving it back, etc. And of course you can scroll through popular items. Um, we have some Canon lenses, we have Sony lenses, uh, some Canon bodies. Of course, a lot of professional gear is very popular. And of course you can see their new arrivals. Insta360, Drifter for 1X, some Sigma lenses, an Edelkrone slider that's already been out. Tamron, now I'm not sure if it actually means that it's out um, or if it's like being cleaned and processed and whatnot, but it just means that it's not available. But if you see something that they might not have and you think it would be a popular rental on the website, it's a good option to have. So let me know if you guys heard about this company. What are your thoughts on it? I would love to hear from you and why you come up with that conclusion. Do you think it's going to fold? Do you think it just doesn't have enough traffic compared to places like ShareGrid and KidSplit? But I just thought that I would check up on this company because I remember seeing ads for them quite a long time ago and it's nice to see that they're still around and functioning. They actually raised their subscription prices over the past year. I think it's mostly for operational costs, but it's definitely an interesting concept. I like their interface. Let's just take a look at a random lens. And it gives you a little description for this item. It's an autofocus, a zoom Nikon lens 24 to 85, f2.8. Um, you can also ask questions about the gear. It gives you a little bit of technical information. Um, I want to pull up a random body as well. Um, here's a Sony Cybershot. So it gives you a little bit of a description. I'm not sure if they're using like an auto population source for it or they're actually typing a description themselves. Um, I'm sure either of those will be fine. We have a Pro Photo Light, but Pro Photo Light um, doesn't have a description. And apparently you need to be a level two member. So an, a level two member is going to cost you a little bit more. I believe it's starting to be about $3.99 a month. So versus $2.49 a month. Um, and level three is $4.99. And I think it just goes by how much your gear is worth. Um, but let's see, 5D Mark III is available four different gears. So let's say we're gonna go level one and available Sony. Here's a nice lens. And they talk about insurance. They talk about all these different factors. Um, they do have some social media presence. It's not the biggest. This is why they're pushing their influencer campaign as well. So once again, if you're an influencer, check them out. Um, Parachute uh, Co on Twitter. And they also have an Instagram presence as well. So they're definitely building out their brand. I think they've been out for a couple of years. And it's very interesting to see, once again, a subscription-based model for camera rental versus that you're renting out equipment. And you have to deal with kind of what you get is what you get. Versus this gives you unlimited swaps. It gives you all sorts of gear. Oh, look at that. So good. So good. If you want to check out their Instagram, I think, because this is in gloves, you would think about, yep. So they're very active on social media, which is nice. Um, and it's cool to see a startup to be a disruptor. Oh, once again, coot. Um, now I might have to follow them on Instagram. I'm getting a little bit sidetracked. But once again, it's interesting to see a startup trying to be a disruptor in companies like uh, KidSplit and ShareGrid. Uh, this is your messaging platform to communicate with them. If they have any sort of questions. You can also see your cart. And this is your account, your orders, your account, um, your payment methods. Very basic, but it's also very neatly designed. I literally like this interface a lot. So even look at this, they have a DJI battery available for rent. So if you have a bunch of them or you want to buy a bunch of them and to see if you can generate some passive income, it's definitely an interesting idea for you to explore. So once again, guys, let me know what you think about Parachute or what do you think about overall these websites that allow you to 
make money off your existing camera and creative gear. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for all the support. By the way, I am planning on adding a my camera feed in these videos, the ones I'm doing kind of screen sharing and screen recording in the near future. If you want to stay in touch with me, all the social links are in the description of this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.